Welcome back everybody into another weekly recap. Today we are going to have a look at the week that was from starting from the 22nd, 2nd of November and closed Friday 26th. Of course, gold and Bitcoin will be our main interest. So let's start on gold. As you can see, um, we started the week. So this is very busy. So let me just do like this. Okay. We started the week right slight above. 1848 1849 which was where the previous lows of uh, as you can see here of the previous week what we saw uh, at the start of the week was a small contraction and if you remember we were retesting multiple times 1845 which is a very strong level and price sensitivity area as you can see once it was broken it was retested and during the day we had a huge sell-off um, of gold if you remember it dropped almost uh, 400 almost 500 pips as you can see from 1845 up until 1848 uh, 18, um, 1803 if you remember the key level 1803 and um, let me just change let, so let's say this is 1803 and um, here once it was broken then this will sell off let me put it in red okay and this is Monday on Tuesday uh, we saw just a confirmation, a continuation of this main bias. We had a small uh, pullback, a small correction. Of course, after such a big move, you can even expect like a 50% correction. So up until here, but we went very, very uh, small and we reacted exactly. Uh, no, we didn't react exactly. We had exactly at 1812, which is also another key level. If I show you, 1812.5 is a key level, as you can see. And um, after that, failing to break above and continuation below. Once, once we broke below, we retested the level, 1803, and then another leg, um, bearish leg. As you can see, we started to uh, find support at the lows at uh, 1781 as you can see which function as a support multiple times for the rest of the week during the week we did i mean we had some very important news on wednesday uh, especially i think here uh, as i'm going to show you um, but gold didn't much react, react a lot to those reports it was just Technical. I mean, this is a sell-off uh, that I'm going to explain you. Uh, but overall, the trend is bearish due to several reasons. As you can see, just to close off the week, on uh, this is uh, Friday. Of course, from here to here was Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, so the volume was not the strongest. But on Friday, we saw another attempt to break above 1812. We failed. To break our PSA, and we had another sell up to 1781. We bounced exactly on the hourly time frame from there, and we are now here. So, um, what I, uh, I meant for uh, the trending is bearish is because on Wednesday we had, yes, some CP, uh, PCE, it was uh, the PCE was um, higher, if you see here. 4.1 uh, compared to 3.7 of the previous um, year it was higher but overall the picture is not bad the jobless claims are really good i think this is some also some historical lows the gdp um, is good 5.9 the annualized is still above the previous one and uh, what came out from the FOMC minutes that you can see here was exactly that. 
the Fed is ready to um, accelerate the pace of the taper if the conditions um, stay, uh, if the good condition, economic conditions are there, uh, if there's the need, especially if there's the need to fight inflation. Remember that fighting inflation can be done with tapering and interest rate hikes. So if the Fed starts to um, inter uh, raise interest rate sooner than expected, it is a very, very bearish confluence on uh, gold. As you can see, it's sort of like investors are already pricing in these uh, this sell-off, these um, rate hikes. If we jump on the daily, you can clearly see that the trend is very bearish. Uh, we bounce multiple times, if you remember from 1680, we had this huge bounce. Since then, we were in a sort of bullish trend intraday. Because if you see, we still have 19, we have still 1875, which we were reached recently. But uh, we're not, we cannot say that we are in a bullish trend. On an intraday, we can take advantage of those bullish runs from the NFPs, from the FMC confirmation. But we have to remember that the main bias is bearish because of those uh, events that are coming. We don't know when, we don't know for what reasons, but that had to come uh, to fight inflation. So uh, we can see anything happening and uh, especially if we break a line below 16, 1760s, 1720s, then we can have the confirmation that investors are clearly pricing in the interest rate hikes to come. If we go on Bitcoin, which is a much, much different asset, it's a very much riskier, and investors are um, putting money on and off from it. Um, also, something that I forgot was that during the morning of Friday, the, this big volume, even if it was a uh, Thanksgiving, it was due to the uh, new COVID variant that came out. And it's something that we're going to see here on Friday on Bitcoin. This is especially true for Bitcoin, which is a risky asset. So it's not uh, a safe haven uh, like gold, like some other instrument. So it is, uh, we're going to see what happens here. So we start off the week. Uh, around 59 uh, around 60k very strong psa we failed to break we create a double bottom at 57 which will be a sort of a psa through the week as you can see here it will react multiple times giving you intraday opportunities for scalps for intraday uh, trades as you can see double bottom huge strong um, bullish candle but still even with this impulse with this volume with this volatility we fail to break those previous lows and we almost close below even those this previous psa we got an equally strong reaction we make a new lower low we seems like we are making a new lower high and we can enter sales on an intraday after this strong rejection as you can see but we have to be careful of the reaction at this previous PSA. And as you can see, we played another double bottom, very strong volatility in these two hours. And um, we create an overall lower high, as you can see, in this bearish trend. High, high, lower, low, lower, high, lower, low, lower, high. And we go then to make, try to make a new lower low failing because 56 55 or something psa is uh, psa is very strong and acts as a, as a very strong demand area after that we saw the start of a corrective bullish uh, move breaking and retesting so let me clear up Okay, so from this PSA, from this PSA, we broke 
and we tested exactly this PSA that we were talking about and we went for a very very nice bullish run till 59 200 again failing to break those previous lows those this previous PSA double top with two attempts two clear attempts to break failing and on Friday as you can see uh, with the news of the new COVID variant Bitcoin acting as a risk asset as it is and investors pulling off the money from it this is because investors the more institutionalized Bitcoin have become the more susceptible it is to those news because people, investors have to edge their capitals in the assets uh, that are less riskier and that's why we see from 59,500 like 600 pips in one day move after that on Saturday and Sunday we are just ranging so nothing more to say on this side if we go on Bitcoin on the daily just for confirmation we are still in a bullish trend as you can see for starting from 2021 very very bullish run we picked at uh, 66 60k 63k was the all-time high for a long time failing to make new highs and then the strong correction at 30k as you can see failing to break 30k and after that just engulfing this move breaking the retesting making his way up with not the easiest path but still as you can see very very bullish look at the reaction exactly at the previous lows previous high on the left hand side these eyes these eyes tuck double bottom at 40k and going to make a new all-time high to 67 something as you can see here this is very nice in insight probably but it's a very nice reaction if you have the high time frame in mind and you see failing to fail to break 40k it's a very nice bullish run after that and at least for 15,000 so it's um, 1,500 uh, pips double top still very bullish because we made a new all-time high so we have to remember that this pullback is coming from the new all-time high but still you cannot forget where we are on the high time frame and we can't forget the um, fundamentals so it depends on, on the risk that's on the markets if the investors are more risk on or risk off in this moment especially with the covid variants then you can even expect that if this variant shows to be um, nothing special then the investors will double bottom here or even below at 40k 40, 47 double bottom and then continuation up possibly to make a new all-time high if the market conditions allow for it okay guys this is it see you guys next week